you are some subscribers this is bvi channel one where we tell you undiluted truth as in the heart and i can tell you the man occupying as rock is getting it hot hot his desperate attempt to bribe the nigerian judicial council um by what he called the palliative fund you know he you know sought for 500 billion naira for palliative still in the national assembly the house of representatives has approved president bola Tinubu's request to source 500 billion naira from the approved budget to provide palliatives for nigerians after the removal of petrol subsidy According to the lawmakers, the president's request was speedily taken through third, second and third reading in line with the need to urgently cushion the effects on Nigerians. The lawmakers advised the president to ensure the funds are judiciously used. President Tinubu says 12 million families will get 8,000 naira over a period of six months to reduce the hardships faced by Nigerians. Good. And it was expressly approved though, by the House of Rep. Uh, um, when you look at it, you know, the last time we heard about palliative during the COVID-19, and we knew how the government of the day at different levels hijacked the whole process for themselves and kept the palliative away from the people. Now, the palliative we are hearing now is unlike the other one, though. Uh -huh. This time, the chunk of it will be going to um, the Nigerian uh, Judicial Council, where most of the money will trickle down to the judges' welfare, especially those at the Supreme Court and those that are within the appeal court, you know? This is the summary of the breakdown of the loan Tinubu is asking for and how it is going to go down the drain. 500 billion for palliative and other capital expenditure to cushion the effect of recent subsidy removal. 185 billion plus to Ministry of Works and Housing to alleviate impact of several uh, severe um, flooding experienced in 2022. 19 billion plus to Ministry of Agriculture to ameliorate the massive destruction of farmland across the country during the severe flooding experience last year. Now, listen to this. 35 billion to National Judicial Council. 10 billion to Federal Capital Territory Administration for critical projects. Then 70 billion to National Assembly to support the working condition of new members. You can imagine. Uh -huh. He's trying to bribe them. As far as we are concerned, that money was meant to bribe the judges. But the man saw that this bribe, huh, you don't choke because even the judges are on trial. Because since after the EU report, the man has never slept. Jagaban, sleep never enter in eye. And you don't they choke them. You don't they choke them. Say, this one, <laughs> there is no escape. Uh -huh. So now, um, when he now saw that this um, bribery <laughs> will not work, he now resort to threatening Nigerians. That if he is removed, that he, if, if he is removed from office, it will cause chaos in Nigeria. Report, according to This Day Live, as tweeted, Tinibu to tribunal. Nullifying presidential election on account of 25% FCT vote could lead to chaos and anarchy. Hmm. Who says so? Let me tell you, Tiribu and APC. The removal of Tiribu as the president of this country will bring back hope, will bring back joy, will bring back peace and tranquility as soon as they call up for English. Not the other way around. Nigerians have no no peace in the hands of these corrupt politicians. The only thing that can bring about peace and tranquility is the removal of that man occupying that office illegitimately. That is the point. Because he is 
saying that uh, at least for now they have acknowledged that 25 percent is important and also mandatory as long as the electoral law is concerned you must have 25 percent in abuja so that one is no longer disputable that even the the legal council of tinibu and the apc have made that submission but he came with a threat that Nigeria will go in disarray. Who told you? You know, their plan was that immediately after they gazetted all this shit that they did, that Nigeria will go into flame. Then they will catch in on it and now gazette their, their stay in power. But what they were expecting from Nigerians, they didn't get it. Because the man of the moment, Peter Obi and Dati, his second, asked Nigerians to hold their peace. And the thing entered their head. Now, they are now threatening Nigerians with chaos. <laughs> Let me tell you, Nigerians, in case you don't know, the summary of Tinibus and APC's legal counsel in the petition filed by p they have no single answer to any of the petitions. That is why they are fidgeting. Yes. Are we talking about the beavers? Trying to say, hey, IREF was not mentioned in the electoral law. <laughs> Just flimsy shit. Are we talking about the mathematician that came and gave arithmetic? They are saying, oh, that in in in, in a whatever uh, tribunal, um, Nigerian court, it is constitutional that the only way you can only address the court is English. That he use um, arithmetical jargons in his witness. Can you imagine? That is the defense they are bringing, you know, as if to say, when you want to um, put some of the arithmetical figures that it will be normally done in the normal English. But the man presented his witness in English and made some quotations as uh, <laughs> as a professional part of his work as a mathematician. Those where they do mathematics when I know that one, I know go fit <laughs> go into that detail. But the point is that these guys are making no defense because they don't have any they don't have any defense how can you defend the defense indefensible no tell me how you can defend what INEC did with apc by declaring jagaban the winner of the presidential election tell me even the one of the the uh, amazon witness that came they have no reply or they were shouting uh, the, the lady did not prove that she is um a, a, a staff of uh, the Amazon. You can imagine. If truly, since the, the the witness was called and the whole thing fired him, why didn't you go to Amazon to verify that the person is not their staff or whatever they are saying the woman is presenting in court is not the, what the, 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 uh, is not the case? No, they can't. <laughs> they can't. Because they know they are full of shit. Nah, Milia Juba won't know. Water don't fool frog for for mouth. He no fee, he no fee, hey, APC no fee escape this one. Where would they start from? We are no longer talking about the 25%. And that is on that they are now threatening Nigerians with chaos. There will be no chaos in this country. In fact, reverse will be the case. And no, listen, heaven will not fall if Tinibu is, I told you, that Tinubu will be the first president of this country that will be removed from office. And they are planning, uh, let them rerun the election or cancel the election. Listen, Peter Obi have proven that he won that election by a landslide. Uh, Atiku is not even contesting that he won the election. No, that is the truth. He's not contesting that. He's just contesting that the election is flawed. Of course we knew. I knew the role or we all saw the role of PDP and APC. They visually did the same thing against the man of the moment, or the man of the moment, Pitobi and Dati. They knew they never won the election. So let the simple thing be done. Give the man his mandate, and there will be peace in this country. Every Nigerian is waiting for that day. I will see the kind of joy that will happen in Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, across the globe. If this justice is ascertained, I'm only bringing this as a notice to you to get ready <laughs> because.
very soon you go loud you go see him say tinibugu the first president mark my word that will be flushed out from office his desperation is driving him mad but we nigerians are ready to face the justice system because it is justice system that is on trial now so all eyes on the ball nigerians do not give up oppressed nigerians from the east west north and south do not give up don't allow anyone to tell you otherwise